Alright guys, here's my Aspiron 1720 and I'm going to be installing the Meshkin Enhanced 40GB SSD into the computer. I also have 4 gigs of Meshkin Enhanced uh, DDR2 to install in here to bring this laptop up to 6 gigs. Uh, I'm going to do that after. First I'm going to do the drive. I'm all, I have two drives in here right now. 80GB, uh, I'm not sure the brand, that's running the OS. Really slow drive, but it's treated me well. And a 500 gig storage drive. I'm going to be taking them both out because when I install Windows on the new drive, I don't want it to be writing any system files to the storage drives. I'm taking both drives out for now. And depending on what type of laptop you have, you'll have to Oh, don't be like me. I forget to remove your battery. Oh, cannot forget that. I'm kind of in a rush, so I'm going to do this a little quickly. Uh, this is our storage drive. It's our Seagate 500 gig storage drive. And this will be our OS drive. I already backed up all my data onto my brand new. Corsair 16 gig Voyager. Extremely fast. Love it already. So, here's our drive. Here's our new drive. We've got to take out some screws. And of our caddy. They're holding our drive. Normally it'll be four, but I didn't have extra screws for the second try, so I split for both drives. So, let's get the caddy out of the drive. For some laptops, you might have a specific um, adapter that needs to be connected to your SATA drive in order for it to connect to your laptop. In this case, Dell does. You, need a, you do need a special one. So you take that adapter off, you place it on your new drive, or SSD, just like this, in there. There we go. And place it back in the unit. Just like this. Now, we're going to take two of our screws and screw the drive. Think in mind, when you're purchasing an SSD, some of them did not uh, come with bottom mounting uh, holes. you got to check that out. All of them come with side mounting holes. Some of them don't come with bottom mounting holes. Certain laptops might require that. This one did. Or does. Did. This is an English class. So there is the Michigan Hands Drive mounted in the Dell Caddy, the 1720. We're going to drop that in drive bay 1, just like this, push the connector in, and we're going to re- and we're going to drop the stuff now. Like I said, I'm leaving the storage drive out for now. Put the whole system back up. And I'm going to install my RAM, and then I will install Windows. But just to show you to see if the system is going to recognize the drive without, you can't boot up into anything. I'm going to boot up into the BIOS and we'll see if it recognizes it. We're back in, turn it on, and then we're just, system, just going to tap on F2. Alright, so now we're in the BIOS. And we're going to go up to device info. You're under the system tab in the Inspiron 1720. System tab, device info. 
device info primary hard drive 40 gigabytes secondary hard drive 500 gigabytes now you'd be like well you took it out well yeah I'm taking this video afterwards after everything's already done drive, crystalline, blah blah blah, all their specs, and I also went ahead and threw in the memory. And I got six gigs. So, we give you, oh, look, there I am in the camera, a little demo of boot up. Done. <laughs> Loading. Done. All I have is a startup applications with AVG. And that was it. It's fast. Um, TTO benchmark. On here, actually, I think I still have the application. I'm gonna run it again if I could find it. Uh, run ATTO on drive C, leave all the defaults, leave overlapped IO, and we're gonna click start. And now is the test finishing up here. Before I show you this, I uh, just want you to keep in mind that this laptop is running on a 1.5 gigabit uh, SATA controller, the SATA 1 architecture. And the rated speed of this Mushkin 40 gigabyte SSD is 280 plus megabyte read or, and 270 megabyte uh, second write average. Um, the, the burst, you know, that's, that's not real light, that's not real activity, but that's just like benchmarking. So here's an ATTO benchmark on this laptop. You're going to see our highest read write speed was at 2 gig write and read and that's 132 write and 142 read. Now that's just under the maximum capability of the chipset in this laptop which is 150 megabits per, megabytes per second which is 1.5 gig per second. Gigabit, well however the math is done there. I don't know and I don't care. I just know this drive is performing at the maximum capability in this laptop. I did test this drive in a desktop with a SATA, SATA 2 controller and it did perform on par with my Vertex 2. But this is just a demonstration of using it in a, in a laptop. Um, so that's that. This is what you could expect installing this in a laptop with a SATA 1 controller. Uh, so that's it. And this was an installation and quick benchmark of the Mushkin 40 gigabyte SSD in a laptop. This laptop being a Dell and Spiron 1720. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions or little tips, feel free to comment or message me. Uh, and subscribe to my channel, because it helps me out a lot. Thanks, guys.